is a uh, very interesting little thing that's a problem right now in UBOT. It's actually been a problem for some time and uh, I don't know if it's got to do with the HTML coding on a page or JavaScript or UBOT or what it is, but you know in the end for a UBOT programmer it is a problem. One of them is uh, specifically getting captures from some sites, like LiveJournal is a pretty good illustration. Getting this capture to show up in a capture solving box is a real pain in the butt. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my script around here and I am going to show you what it looks like before I make any changes. So basically what's happening is, is uh, a subroutine is being called and it's filling in these values and then displaying the capture for us to allow, to allow us to solve it. Let me just show you. So the site's going to live journal and you can see what the problem is here. What's happening is in the capture form, it is not capturing the capture properly and this actually happens quite a bit. Okay, and like I said, I, I don't know what the reason is. Uh, it, it might not be UBOT's fault. It might be. I, I just don't know. But uh, I know that this is a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this. I'm actually going to close this, the, the thing here. Okay, well, you're just seeing it's working now, but I'll show you in a second. Now, the way to fix this is to actually run the command twice. Okay, so you see here, choose by attribute. Okay, I'm selecting the attribute via the, uh, the actual image here using wildcards and then I say close all dialogs and I turn that on and then what I then do is I say okay to decode the capture and what that does is it throws up the dialog for me to, to decode this and then I immediately say close all dialogs and turn that off. Now what this does is I'm going to put a stop here so you can actually see what's happening. What it does basically is if a dialog box comes up it automatically just closes it regardless of what the dialog box is. So see, dialog box gone. Okay, so it's not clean, but it is possible. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is right after that, after you see I I turn that command off. This is kind of an on an on off switch. If I don't put this command in here, all my dialogs from here on in will automatically just close, and I don't want that functionality to continue. I just want it to close this one dialog where it's not coming up properly. So immediately right after that I tell it to close all dialogues and I turn the functionality off. I call the attribute again and I tell it to do de decoded caption. And let me show you how that looks. So it's going to go to the page, brings it up, throws it away, and it comes right back up. And this time the uh, the capture can be solved. Okay, So I'm going to hit enter and then you can see it fills it in. So that's a real quick tutorial for you. Only a couple minutes, two, three minutes, and that's how you solve this particular problem. Just using the close all dialogs. Once, I, once again, when you use it, turn it on and immediately turn it off. If you don't turn it off, if I call this dialog, uh, this up here, then it's not going to work. Okay. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to run the node, run the node, run the node. See, it throws it away immediately. But as, once this command here is run. It will stay, it will persist. Okay? So there you go. Frank Thompson from ubotjunkie.com. Uh, if you want to look for other tutorials on ubot, please feel free. That's www.ubotjunkie.com.